Hi everybody, I've been putting this video off for a while, so I just decided to make it real quick. Um, this is just, I'm just going to show you the homebrew thing for the uh, Nintendo 3DS. This is uh, the Ninja Hacks thing. Uh, if you go to the Ninja Hacks website, it will show you how to do it. Basically all you need is an SD card and you'll be placing some stuff on the SD card. Um, you'll need a 3DS with an old firmware version, and you need the game Cubic Ninja. I got this from Amazon for like $30. And so you can just put in the game and the SD card. And when you first set it up, you'll have to um, go through... When you're going through the setup process from the website, it, it's pretty easy. It's step-by-step -step, um, stuff, so you shouldn't have much of a problem. But when you first do it, you have to scan a QR code from the website. Um, but since I've already done that, I don't have to do it again. Okay, so I'm just booting up. And then what you do is you go into the Ninja Hacks game. And you go into the create. And then QR code. And here it's gonna start it's gonna freeze up and then you can see it's loading running exploit and here you have the homebrew launcher. Um it only has these few little apps as of now and then I'll just show you something real quick. See this is a First person shooter type thing, I guess. And you fight those little zombies. Okay. You just click the start button to exit it. Then this is an FTP server. Um Cube 3D. It does this weird thing, and I think it's 3D if you turn on the uh 3D effects. So it's kind of cool. And looks like I had to press the Y button to exit that one for some reason. Start button wasn't doing anything. Uh, then there's 3DS, 3DS Craft. Okay, so basically it creates this little 3D world. You can move around the view with the touchpad. And you can just uh, walk around, I guess, <laughs> and place bricks down. So, yeah. Um, that's all I really wanted to show y'all. Just a quick look at the 3DS Homebrew channel. And if you know how to develop those types of apps, you can do that. Um, that's the big good thing about the Homebrew channel is you can then program your own stuff um, for it. So then you can have this lockdown console and and basically unlock it with a with the Homebrew channel. Because it will allow you to run unsigned code. So, thanks for watching. And check it out if you want.